Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox. Today we're going to be doing whatever the hell the community decides that we're doing, so that's exciting. You can see the community test apparently has had a minor update because I got the update page again. Um, let's see, a brand new VR experience, oh, that's exactly what it was before, so I feel like it's going to be a very, very challenging, uh, effort to figure out what actually changed, but who knows, maybe it will have the, uh, new tab. I don't mean that new tab, I mean if we go to open and then to new, I think there's new... No, I thought there was, there's a little red dot, but that's not very helpful, is it? All right, let's go ahead and play around with the universe. What do you guys think I should do to start? The other time we were doing this, we were trying, oh, you know what? You know what'd be kind of neat? What if we give the sun rings? I haven't really done anything giving a star rings before. I mean, I don't even know if the game supports giving the, the sun rings, but it would be a little bit neat. Can I... Oh my god, you can! And it really made the sun angry as well. What was that? <laughs> Wait a moment, what, what even happened? Why were they able to pull around the sun like that? I'm very confused. Thank you, Tazman, for being around in a sub for an entire year. What an absolute chad. Alright, let's... Let's figure out what happened there. I think it automatically scaled the uh, the size of the moons so that they were actually comparable to the sun, which is why it freaked out so terribly. Um, let's go ahead and mess around with that a bit more because that was an unexpected response and, you know... That is what I want, because I have been getting way too good at predicting what's going to happen in this game. It's it's actually an issue, okay? okay so we'll do bodies inside of particles. Oh, parent divided by count. Oh, that's awesome. All of them together are the mass of the sun. All right. Okay, so wait. If we keep it paused and add the... Oh! We made a Dyson Sphere. Oh, that is beautiful. We've actually made a Dyson Sphere of, of moons around the sun. That is... that's something. I don't think I've made a Dyson Sphere before. Okay, what's that? We're gonna turn down time and unpause. The sun is not the happiest about this. It's actually speeding up rather quickly. We have cage around the sun. Not very easy to see, so let me change the view settings. Let's go to the background and just make it like... Nope. That's not helpful. That's not helpful. Ah! It's easier to see in the green death. But it looks kind of awful. Blue-red? You can kind of see it. Look at them go! Won't the moons crash into each other? That's kind of the point. Sweet child. <laughs> the point is utter destruction. How much mass does one of these have? Five Jupiters. So all of the moons together have the mass equivalent to the sun's mass. Wow. It's basically just shattering the sun and then spreading it around the sun. Having its own organs just thrown around it. That's that's pretty... Pretty gamer. <laughs> Relatable. Oh, and now the little parts are hitting the sun. That's kind of rough. We have the equivalent of just like hundreds of planets around it now. Very... What was that? Why did the sun just decide to shrink? <laughs> oh, now it's like one-fifth of the mass of the sun because it just decided to be... Wait, where'd the rest of the solar system go? How are things going for everyone else? Um, I'm assuming it's going fantastic. What could possibly go wrong? Earth, how's it going? Earth's just chilling. Oh, nothing changed. Not even the climate yet. The Earth is completely fine with the fact that the Earth just... Or the sun just shrank. Actually, it's getting warmer. So, good, good for you, Earth. Probably from the debris being shot out. 
We can actually keep track of the Earth's temperature. Oh, I can pin this somehow. I know I can pin this somehow. Let me... No, I want to pin it. Darn it. <laughs> Okay, oh, no! This is so annoying, okay, I just, I need to have the Earth selected. I thought I could just pin the graph. I was 98% sure there's a way to do that. Wow. Why is it getting warmer when the sun has shrunk? <laughs> and it seems to be accelerating as well. Is this man-made global warming? Or is this the result of... I mean, it's only been like a few months, so I don't think this is man-made global warming at this point. The runaway effect of heat. I think it's all of the giant star-like objects flying around. Oh no! It's because the sun is way closer to Earth. It's over here. What is the sun doing over there? Oh, it's actually going towards Earth. Kind of. Uh, the distance is getting greater now. Alright, so... Fantastic. Who cares about environmental damage anyways? Alright, but can we make this a little bit closer? New question of the day. Can we get the rings and to make them really, really close? So if we bring that up to 200 again, and then it's uh, inner radius is 3.65. So let's turn the inner radius down to like... 0 0.5 and then we'll bring this down to 1. I'm sure this won't be Oh, they all spawned inside of the Sun. Okay, that is not what we wanted to have. Whoa, my god <laughs> Okay Simulation did not like that. So we'll do one and two. I think a one and two will be a reasonable <laughs> Reasonable setting uh God, I hate it when I try to make a Dyson Sphere and it explodes. Bad. Awful. Just an awful experience. <laughs> okay, uh... Rings. Moon Sphere. Where did the humans manage to get the mass of the literal sun? Like, that is pretty impressive. I want to figure out who managed to make this. It had to be Roosevelt. If someone was going to make this happen. <laughs> it must- Oh my god! That is- That is quite close. <laughs> it's like the sun is wearing planets. Oh, I should have done this with Earth. That would be such- The best summer day of all time. <laughs> wow. Alright, that is closer than I expected it to get. Um, let's go ahead and see if we turn the simulation very low speed. Okay, it's now playing, you just can't notice. You can't tell. Wow. That is... That is really, really quite close. But if I, if I jack up the uh, field of view a bit, if I can make it... Where is the field of view now? Oh, that's not what I wanted to do! <laughs> Darn it! I think it's just in extra tools, still. Oh, the field of view is so much fun to mess with, though. I wish they made it easier to get to that setting. Simulation. Oh, they changed all of the controls. It does kind of look like a virus. You are not wrong. I... I will give you that. Very angry virus. Oh, what? Wait a second. They just consumed the sun? Just like that? What? I guess it worked like a Dyson Sphere. It just harvested all the energy from the sun. But why? Why did that happen? Where Where did the sun go? Where did the mass go? What happened to preservation of mass? Did they steal it? I mean, these have turned into gas giants. A few of the moons. What? What? Where did the sun go? I'm very confused where the mass went. 
Now the funny thing is the mass in the center is still equivalent to two suns, so things shouldn't be like running away, which they aren't. The orbit is still normal, but with the sun gone, I assume that the temperature of Earth is actually decreasing now. Well, when you look at that, it's increasing, because that makes sense in this game. This game makes complete and total sense constantly. Alright. Is it because not enough time is went by? Man, I'm so confused. <laughs> oh my god. This... <laughs> this is what's left after consuming the sun. This pain and... <laughs> what on earth is going on? They're all trying to merge at the same time. This is... This looks really weird. Oh, and now they're all being flung out. Oh, no. I mean, it almost seemed like they were going to form a beautiful little ring there for a moment. Actually, you know what I could do? Just to increase my own enjoyment. We can select all of these, and we can zero velocity them, I believe. Or maybe I can't. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes. Zero velo- Reverse velocities? Is that new? Excuse- <laughs> We can reverse the flow of time! Oh my god. What? We can I didn't even know that was a thing. That is amazing. Huge fan of reverse velocities. I want them to form a star once again. Oh my god, they're just reforming the ring. Oh, that is insane! The amount of power I have over the simulation right now is just... awesome. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Reverse the supernova. It reverses the velocity, not time, actually. So, if we hit zero velocities now... Oh, wait, I didn't get all of them. Darn it. Zero velocities. Ah! Now they're all gonna flow into each other and form a new sun. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to form a sun with the what's left from the dead. Oh my god, when those explode, they let out so many, so many fragments. Man, this is kind of insane. Are any of these actually going to reach the necessary size in order to become a star? Oh, the Earth's temperature is decreasing. I wonder why. <laughs> God, nobody could have predicted this. It was a completely unpredictable event. Okay, in the center here, we do have a lot of merging going on. By design. Oh, those two. Oh, they just missed. But can... Oh, no. Earth's temperature is really dropping now. Well, not, not that bad. I mean... Uh, you know, relatable when there's no sun. Um, I'm very impressed. We haven't been able to get any of these to go... Uh, to a star. I thought we'd be able to convince at least the winner, the victor of the entire thing. It's 21 Earths. Wow, the amount of mass that was lost to the fragments. There's like no mass left. A few Jupiters. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. The sun is gone. The sun is gone, and what are we going to do? We're gonna cry about it, clearly. Where, where is... Ah, I can't even find the solar system anymore. There we go, all right. Uh, Earth, how are you doing? Wait, where is Earth? There's Earth. Oh, yeah, it's kind of given up on the whole orbiting the sun thing. That's it, Emily's sun left me too. Oh God. <laughs> well. That's what happens when you try 
to build a Dyson Sphere out of moons, it did not end well. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, leave a like if you liked it, and otherwise subscribe. You should do those both actually, no matter what. I'll see you all next time. Peace out.